How's it going everyone? So today I want to talk about how to get rid of caffeine in your body. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're interested in online personal training for me, simply comment below in the comment section. I will get back to you guys with more details. So to start off, I just want to say that I absolutely love caffeine, you guys. I love it. I love Tim Hortons. I love coffee. A lot of you may like Starbucks, uh, but for me, it's, it's Tim Hortons, you guys. So I love drinking coffee. Caffeine is a stimulant and the world's most popular psychoactive drug used to help people stay mentally alert. It works by blocking adenosine, you guys. It's a neurotransmitter that plays a role in sleep, which prevents drowsiness. So caffeine also stimulates the heart muscles and blood pressure control centers. That is why I limit my coffee consumption to actually none, you guys. I've completely uh, winded myself off of coffee. I, I try not to drink it. Again, I love it so much, so I might have one once in a while, but again, I'm trying my best to limit it. I only drink coffee, you guys, on Sunday or Saturday. Again, I'm trying my best to limit it. Uh, so, okay, well, sometimes I'll drink it. I'll drink it on Saturday too. Okay, well, okay, enough about me. I love coffee, you guys, but I won't drink it seven days a week. A common myth of caffeine is that it causes dehydration. This has been proven by studies that this is a myth and does not cause hydration, dehydration. I have included the study in the description box for you guys. So let's find out how much caffeine a day is healthy. So up to 400 milligrams of caffeine a day is safe for most healthy adults. That's the amount of caffeine in four cups of coffee or 10 cans of Coca-Cola or two energy drink shots energy shot drinks, I guess, if you will. So an eight ounce of coffee can have anywhere from 95 to 200 milligrams of caffeine. Insomnia, nervousness, restlessness, irritability, and increased rate of heart are all symptoms of having too much caffeine. Chest pains and vomiting are severe symptoms, and you should call the, the position control center pronto if you are having any of these. Um, the, the poison control center, sorry about that. So you will have a caffeine overdose if you go over 400 milligrams a day. Everyone is gonna be different though. Some people may experience these symptoms with less than 400 milligrams a day. So just be careful with the amount of caffeine you are taking in per day. So how can we get rid of it from our body? Caffeine is fat soluble, which helps it move through your body fast. Once you are feeling the ill effects of caffeine though, it's already too late for water to help you. That's not to say that water won't help you at all. It definitely will. A study has shown that a way to come back down off of your caffeine high is to eat a diet rich in cruciferous vegetable, cruciferous vegetables, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, all of those will help you guys. The increased, um, the reason for that is from the increased CYP1A2 enzyme. In the description box, I put a link uh, to a study on the CYP1A2 and caffeine. It's a good read, I highly recommend it. So the only issue with eating Brussels sprouts and broccoli after you have had your caffeine overdose is that your digestive system doesn't work as quickly as we would think. So for the body to actually break down the foods, it's gonna take around eight hours or so for us to actually get the enzymes we need. So by that time, the caffeine high will already be done. The best way to get rid of the caffeine in your body is to drink water and eat vegetables. Just understand that time is ultimately the best factor, just like in drinking alcohol. So end of video, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please like the video and share it. Thanks everyone.